first bought this Camaro ZL110 LE, I told you guys I was gonna change up the wheels and tires and I was gonna test my theory that the suspension really isn't the problem. The reason it's so stiff is because of the tires. Now, this has been quite a while since I've said that and uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you guys are still following, I, let me know in the comments, the OG followers. But I have seen comments asking me, hey, can you test that? I wanna see if, you, if I can buy one. I want you to test it first. Well, here I am finally testing it. And the reason I'm testing it is because I don't wanna be in the unlimited class because if you do under 200 treadwear tire, you get into the unlimited class and these are 100 tread, treadwear tires. These are the factory tires that came in the ZL11 LE. Now, excuse the, the dust, obviously, but I think it allows you to see better the tread. There's a little bit of tread left. I could probably do another track day in it. Probably another track day in it, most probably. And, uh, and that'll be good. But compare this tread to the new hotness, which are really hard to find. And uh, these are the supercar, the Eagle, so the Goodyear, Eagle F1 Supercar 3, right? It's a very specific name. <laughs> Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3. This is the Supercar 3, and this is the Supercar 3R. This is 100 treadwear, and this is 220 treadwear. So this puts me in a different racing class which is more comfortable for me as I get more comfortable with the Camaro. I need, uh, I need all the help I can get, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna be fairly slow, unfortunately. I just gotta get comfortable with it. But uh, this is very different treadwear. And I'm gonna argue that because the treadwear is different and the sidewall is different, it's gonna completely change the dynamics of the car for the better. It's gonna be more comfortable, more compliant, over bumps. And uh, that's what we're here to test. So I hope you tag along. Let me know in the comments if you think this is gonna dramatically improve things or if it's not gonna improve anything at all. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what I did was installed new brake pads, flushed, well it didn't flush, I bled all the brake calipers with RBF Castrol or Castrol RBF in preparation for time trial nationals. But now I have to scrub in the new tires and bed the brakes in. So I might as well talk to you guys about the difference in handling and characteristics that I see with these Goodyear Supercar F1-3s, not the 3Rs. So again, recap, 3Rs come from the factory with a ZL11 LE. The Supercar 3s come from the factory with the regular ZL1s, albeit a different size. These are 19 inch. The one they use in the regular ZL1 is 20 inch. So I think these are actually gonna ride better than the regular ZL1. Let's test it out, let's test it out. But before we test it out, we get to do a little cold start. I haven't started this thing, I don't know, a month? Let's see. Sounds pretty happy. Since this uses a very heavy weight, so it's a 15W40, or is it 15W50? I think the 15W50 weight oil that the track manual recommends you use is whatever the track manual says uh, that's what it's in here right now I always give it quite a bit of time to warm up before I set off just to make sure that the oil pump doesn't get overworked and everything works properly so I give it 30 seconds or so and then we give it a go so uh, I'll see you guys back in a little bit once this car is warmed up so it's the next day and a lot happened between now and then uh, because I went out and I told you guys I needed to bed the brakes and I did need to, to bed the brakes because these are new DTC 60 brake pads, highly recommended by the way. But as I got out there, I guess I didn't know this was going to happen. I've never dealt with brake pads and brake rotors as large, but there was a little bit of surface area on the brake rotors that actually had a little bit of braking force and the rest of it was completely glazed over and actually had a surface layer of rust. And when I hit the brakes for the first time, it felt like I was braking something. It felt like I put a brake pad in backwards or I just completely forgot to put one brake pad in or something. So I had to take everything apart, bled all the brakes twice. Uh, it was a longer night than I expected. Couldn't find the issue. 
came back out. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Uh, just started driving it for a while. And I'm like, you know what? Let's see if I can bed the brakes in. And I bed the brakes in, and now it brakes perfectly fine. Perfectly, beautifully fine. All I needed to do was get these new brake pads acclimated to the, to the older rotors, and everything's fine. So there you have it. Uh, this lesson learned there for me, for sure. I apologize for the lighting. I mean, the sun's right in my eye, so my camera's going to struggle a little bit. However, we're not here to talk about the brakes. We're here to talk about the difference these tires have made versus the Supercar 3 Rs. These are the Supercar 3s. And uh, just a reminder, these are 220 tread wear versus the 110 or 100 tread wear of the, of the 3 R, meaning the, 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 3, the 3R are going to be a lot more aggressive and a lot more track oriented than uh, the 3s. As I was driving yesterday or last night and this morning and now, uh, I've really realized that this car is a completely changed car. I mean, the harshness that you feel with the three R's, that harshness you think is from the suspension really is from the tires. It's a completely different experience. Here I am, I don't really hear much, which the three R's uh, has a lot more road noise than this. And it may be because they're super worn out, but even when they were new, you had a lot more road noise. I'm going 60 miles an hour down a country road. And if you know anything about country roads, they're not the best maintained. Nobody gives a crap about farmers, unfortunately. Uh, so nobody maintains these roads. And I'm hitting bumps, I'm hitting little you know, cracks in the divots. I hear some rumble, there's some rumble strip right there. And honestly, not bad at all. That is not bad. Compared to the three R's, it's a game changer. Honestly, it is a game changer. It transformed the car into something way, way more comfortable. Now, some people would say that the three R tires are too much, they're too harsh, and the car itself is too much to daily drive. I disagree. Even with the three R tires, I thought this car was super comfortable. I've, drove, I've driven into Daytona, I've driven into Sebring, it's a three hour drive. Honestly, not a big deal for me. And for some people, they like to be kind of, you know, way more comfortable. But I, this, comfort, this seat's very comfortable. The infotainment system's very good. Uh, the gauges are great. And the driving feel and everything about the car drives very nicely. There's nothing I would complain about. Now, when you put on these threes instead of the three R tires, all the, the bumps, all the imperfections from the road, gets muted just that little bit, right? It's not a, it's not gonna be a night and day difference, but everything gets muted just that little bit and it takes the harshness off of the, the tires. It takes the harshness off of suspension. Just a reminder, the bushings in this car are pretty much all solid bushings. Um, they're pillow bushings. I mean, they're, they basically use G, uh, GT3 suspension on this stuff, on this car. So it's, it's, very, it's very harsh. Uh, compared to a normal car that uses compliant rubber bushings. So you're gonna have some vibrations and things like that that you may not be used to. But these tires numb it just enough so that you don't really feel it. You don't really get annoyed by it as much, right? If you are the kind of person that gets annoyed by these things, I, I pretty much, I've been driving lowered slash ruined cars for my entire life effectively. So I'm not that worried about it. But man, the feel also, like you, if, because they're a little bit more compliant, you get, a, I feel like you get a little bit more ability to push uh, on, on the corners and you feel that sidewall, you can feel the sidewall a little bit. It's really nice. Man. Another great positive is that the three R tires, if it's raining, you're pretty much screwed. Right? If it's raining, it's not going to be a good day for you. Even when they're brand new, they're, they're not made for the rain. These Supercar 3 tires, uh, I have not dealt with them in the rain, but just looking at their tread pattern shows me that these are going to be much better in the rain. The reason I think Chevrolet went with the 3Rs on the Z011LE versus the, the regular 3s is well, a couple of reasons. Number one, they wanted to set uh, some lap time records on their production car and in order to do that you have to offer the tire as a factory tire from the factory so that's, you know, that's reason number one reason number two when the engineers went at this they were they were they were basically given hey the car's already been developed 
here's basically a blank check and go develop the ZL11 LE the best way you can. And so the engineer said, okay, why not take an already really great car, the ZL1, and just get as good as possible, right? And when they develop a suspension, they always develop it to a tire. And thank God they did, because when you develop the suspension to a tire specification like the 3Rs, you're gonna make it a lot more aggressive. You're gonna make it be able to take a lot more lateral Gs. You're gonna allow it to take a lot better you know, curbing. It's gonna be really best designed for a track. Now you, you, know, you take the 3Rs and you put the 3s on there, it's gonna make for a more compliant drive. It's gonna make for a more compliant, uh, plushy feeling uh, drive. And it really makes a big difference. I can't wait to see how they do on the track. It's gonna be night and day difference, I know. On the track, these are gonna be slower on the track than the three R's are, just because these are using less sticky rubber. What else can I say? So all around installed, I paid about two grand to get these installed. It did not include the wheels, obviously. The three R's are about the same price. I recommend it. If you can get your hands on supercar threes versus the three R's, and uh, you're doing many track days, but you're not really you know, pushing it as hard as possible on the track, I would really recommend these tires. Anyway, let's close it up here. I just wanted to get you, get you guys uh, my thoughts before I take these tires to the track and possibly <laughs> spend the tires out. It's four days on track I'm doing here. So I'll be at SCCA Time Trial Nationals in this car in two days. So before I completely obliterate the tires, I wanted to get you guys uh, on board and let you guys know uh, how these tires are on the streets. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.